I am looking for a management role where I can use much more of my business knowledge and where I can make better impact. And there are some shortcuts for everything. Matlab, if you don't learn engineering, mein, engineering part, very pe- less people learn. Why not apply that and actually grow that business? And we help me in all these things a lot. Analytics part, now I can visualize things. How did you get Paytm and all these sponsorships? Tell us the stories. What my plan currently is to apply my all these business knowledge for some big corporate or some startup where I can use this knowledge. So there are three sections uh, currently in CAD. Hi and welcome to yet another episode of IM Ke Baad. Today, we have who we term our most recent IM alumni and that is Sankalp. Welcome Sankalp. Welcome sir, welcome. welcome. Sankalp Maheshwari will introduce himself but all I have to say is that he is recently graduated from 2024 from IM Nagpur and he has a story to tell and we are all interested in Sankalp Two or three things. Why you went to IAM, how you enjoyed IAM, and most importantly, as an IAM alumnus, most recent alumnus, what are your plans for the future? Over to you. Okay, can you just uh, start with what did you do before IAM? Yeah, so I have uh, done BTEC in electrical and electronics from Kite Group of Institution. And after that, I have worked in Amazon for two years as an analyst. So I was working in the last mile quality team in Amazon where I was doing analysis part. So why I do join IAM? So I would like to start with back from my engineering time, I have interest to do MBA. So in my engineering fourth final year, I was working as a freelance photographer. Also, I was doing digital marketing projects. I was doing e-commerce. So I, what I was doing, I was doing their portfolio shoot for e-commerce and uh, making them list on Google and Amazon. So there I learned that uh, yeah, MBA is something which will help me in digital marketing and help me get the acumen of marketing work. So from there, my interest for MBA is after that, when I joined Amazon as an analyst, so I was working in the last mile quality team. So where we were improving the uh, delivery part of Amazon. So we, I have worked on US geography. I have worked on Europe geography. I have worked a lot of time on India geography. So if you remember in past, India don't have those live location because the quality of that, which matches with the address of the customer was very low. It was only 50%. But slowly we created new SOPs like that live location which was coming. So their city and their district was right. But exact address was not matching with what customer was giving. So we created new SOPs that we are going to take this live address only till the street level. And then we are our uh, delivery partner is going to look where is the house. So that's how we helped a lot in improving India quality for the delivery part. After that, I uh, joined Amazon because in my uh, job, when I was working in Amazon, uh, I was working under a program manager. So our part is to do analysis and give it. But we were not knowing much about how much impact it is creating. So if we have done analysis on a single address in India, so how much financial impact it will create, how much business impact it will create. So we were not knowing that part that much in our organization before MBA. So uh, that I tried to learn with my program manager and my program manager was from IIM Bangalore only. So he was six year alumni from IIM Bangalore. So he suggested me if you want to learn more and go deep into this, you should do something related to management where you can learn the analytical part more deeply, how businesses are run and overview. So that's why I joined uh, IIM Nagpur. So I have given paper for Z, uh, CAT and SNAP. So these are the main paper which I have given. Uh, so in CAT, I have got 95. I was expecting calls from some new IMs also, but that didn't happen. After that, our Z happened. In Z, I was 99.5 percentile. So I was expecting that XLRI will be converted. That's why I left my job also. I was helping my father in business. Because of COVID, he got a setback and his health was also, also deteriorating. So I left my job before joining IM, like nine months before only. So um, the option which I have either to join IM Nagpur or to go for preparation if I want to join some bigger IM. At that point, I decided it's much more for me to learn the business. And if I work in the industry for next five to six years, good work. So I will already will get till the people where people got from IM Bangalore or IM Ahmedabad. 
if I have that knowledge and if I do that work. So that's why I didn't hesitate much. And I am Nagpur was also a very good help for me, I will say. So we have got a very brief, quick snapshot of your reaching I am Nagpur. We are going to go more into I am Nagpur and maybe a bit more also into the your plans for the future. But let us, like in Hindi movies, let us go into flashback, right? Uh, so 10 years ago, 12 years ago. Where did you start from? Uh, I think you mentioned that you grew up in Aligarh. So what kind of a school and how did you perform in your... India has board exams, right? So were you a topper? Were you not a topper? How was your life? And the reason I'm asking you, biggest reason, is there are a lot of people who are interested in your story. And not everyone is a topper, but some people are. So everyone is interested in your story. I born and brought up in Aligarh. So, Aligarh is famous for locks and hardware. Well, Aligarh is filled with small, medium businesses of locks and hardware. And my family is also, my father is also in business. So, he's an engineer. And after that, he worked with Pavna Group as a partnership. And then he started his own business. Aligarh is uh, very famous for business. So, I al- always have that engineering mindset from my father. And that business, which I have seen all around my life. Madlab, he run a factory. Basically, for him, that factory is his business. So I have seen him say doing sales, daily uh, work. So uh, business always interested me. And my mother is a maths teacher. From there, I have got lo- good knowledge of maths. So in my family, it's like if, if in maths you are not scoring, you are not studying. So maths is uh, like that in my family. I am my one um, brother also, elder brother. So we were both in the same class from my childhood. So we always had this race in maths. So it is like who will going to score good. So I was so, good in So were you twins? Or did you have a twin brother? Elder twin brother? No, my cousin brother. So we live in a joint family. Two brothers, my father and my uncle. So we live in the same house. So we right. were in the same class from starting. If you go in UP, in Aligarh or in small states, Education system in UP, Aligarh is very good because there is AMU. So there is a lot of competition and people are aware what are different fields, what do you, can you do. So people are aware in Aligarh so that, uh, because of AMU. So I, I was lucky enough to go through a good education system. And But my father is always excited that you should be good in English because he was running a business. And he has seen the people good in English can achieve good. Did you study in an English medium school or Hindi medium, Urdu so medium? medium school? So most of our, uh, if you go in UP, you will find private co- uh, schools now right. our time. Most of them are private and they are English schools, CBSC uh, board schools. So I uh, studied in a CBSC board English school. My English was... I always average. My biggest problem in CAT was also English. That English, oh, RC, I don't, still don't get. I still was targeting ki I have to score this much and what are different things I have to do for that. So English is something which, well, I understand I can speak, I can write, but those passages, those word meaning, those remembering, I am not that good at. I'm going to ask you, ki say you learned all this English in a bit, but let's still stick to... So so you were in a joint family. Yeah. Your, your dad and Tauji, so both the families together in Aligarh. Can I share? So right after I graduated, personally, I came from I am Bangalore and I joined a company in sales. And my responsibility was sales in the entire Western UP. And Aligarh was one of my big stockists or big distributors. Of course, not bigger than Agra because Agra is the hub of all that, right? Agra was the big hub because it was right next to MP also. Uh, But uh, let's not go into that story yet. So Aligarh was good. Aligarh fed to Agra and there were a lot of things. So I've been to Aligarh. I used to, there was a time I used to go to Aligarh once a week. I I, I used to be based in, in... in Delhi or Ghaziabad and go to Aligarh every week. Ah, so, so that is my background. But at the same time, that is nothing compared to your living in Aligarh and growing up in Aligarh and in a joint family. So tell us a bit more about you, your cousin brother, you said you were always competing with maths and, and you had a sister. So how was it that how did your board exams go and how were you in university? How did you get into engineering? After the class 10, you have to decide so what you want to do. 
So if you want to do competitive exam, so you have to do different coaching. So I was I have joined um, uh, Akash Institute for my coaching uh, at that time. So my schedule, if you see, was ki morning school. After that, four hour coaching. And on weekends, we have test, all India test for our uh, entrance exams. So I uh, concentrated more on my entrance exams. But my concepts was always clear. So and what entrance exam help? If you do hard work, you will be clear on concept. And in yeah. uh, your uh, board exam, you just have to do one thing that you have to concentrate on what all you have to write. Because in our competitive exam, they teach us shortcuts. Yeah, uh, you learn the concept and then you have to do shortcuts and board exam you have to write everything point to point so uh, my concentration for board exam was not that big it was for 15 days where i learned ki what all i have to write uh, so before exam i what i used to do ki if it's a maths paper these step i have to write because i am good at maths my mind work like that so i skip points in the middle so if you have uh, an equation, I calculate it in my mind and I directly write the answer. So uh, that didn't help in board. In boards, you need to write these steps. Yes. So my concentration was more on to be clear that these steps I have to write in my exam. I, so know, I, I, I can totally understand that because see, I am at an age where my son is about 12 years old. And he's, I think, uh, very good at maths. He's like, he's made maths Olympiad and all that. But in his school exams, he doesn't get marks. He's not a topper. Because all the teachers deduct marks because he doesn't write the steps. Because he reads the question, he puts the answer and the teachers are giving marks for the test steps. Yeah, so that problem I have also faced during my uh, school. So my mother used to, uh, my mother was also a teacher. So she always used to say, you don't type a step, you don't write step. And my mind, but like he, Half hour, let it complete it fast. So my pa- math paper in if you say in board also, I completed my math paper two one hour early. In two hours, I completed my math paper. And when I came out, people were like, uh, be- uh, the paper was very hard, and it was insolvable. Paper was very hard. I came home, I solved that paper three times to see whether I have done right in exam or not. Because people were saying uh, it's very hard, but I got decent marks, ninety five in math. In PCM, uh, I always got decent marks, but my English was bad. So in English and PhD, also subject, I always get lot, uh, lesser marks. So that. So you went to so English with your board? School, no, no, English with your school. So uh, if you say, for saying it was an English medium school, but if you come to any city of UP, nobody speaks English there. Not even teachers speak speak English here. Yeah. If you uh, talk to an English teacher also, he will be talking in Hindi only. So that's uh, my impression. That is exactly my impression. And and see, nothing wrong with speaking Hindi because that is our mother tongue, right? But at the same time, when schools get called English medium, that means the medium of instruction is English, and that doesn't happen in India. So, uh, for, for uh, I also understand the background of uh, teachers they are coming from. So, if you yeah. see my mother only, so she has studied all her life in Hindi medium only. And now she is teaching and now they say ki, uh, to, uh, teach whole maths in uh, English. So, uh, she knows the words, but uh, somewhere they are thinking at back of the mind, they are thinking in Hindi and then they are speaking in English. So uh, that where uh, problem comes. So I think that's the, you've hit bullseye. Is what is the language that you are thinking in versus what you are talking? So and, and that, some of us, some of us, we are bilingual because I don't know. Sometimes I think in English, sometimes I think in Hindi. Yeah. And Vix, I don't know. You're thinking in maybe three languages, but. For me, the way I see it, and, and and again, I'm going back to my kids. I wish they knew a bit more Hindi because sitting in London, they only speak English, they think in English uh, and all that. And I think being bilingual, thinking in two languages improves brain power. That I will accept because uh, more you are thinking, na, your mind works more. So that my experience, maybe I'm wrong or right, but more you are thinking things or more you are uh, sometimes I express myself in my mind only. So that helped me 
uh, solved lot of problems. So when I, uh, in my mind only, I speak something in English uh, or think in English, that helped me uh, see what are what are the gaps in my thinking. So that helped me a lot. So this I am trying and I am doing now to a lot. So you did your boards and you got good marks. PCM was good. English was not as good. So then yeah. how engineering? Because PCM was good, so engineering? Or did you give entrance? Uh, uh, after 10th only, I decided to go for engineering. I was doing coaching in Akash uh, already. I cleared my mains also, but advance didn't happen for me that year. Uh, I got admission in kite in electrical and electronic. So my uh, father is an engineer. And he has... He's done uh, his- can I interrupt you well, for a moment? What is kite? Because for some people from the 90s, uh, we know JE, we know DC and all that, but I don't know Kite. Uh, so Kite was a private college. I have not done from my okay. the college. It was a private college, Krishna okay. Institute of Engineering and Technology in Rajawad it was. And but, in terms of the entrance exams, which are the current entrance exams that you have given for engineering? So at my time, which I have given was, uh, it was JE means because I have given it 2015. Yeah. Uh, so it was JE mains. Uh, uh, if you clear JE mains, you go for JE advance. So if from JE mains, NITs uh, take admission. Then you go for JE advance. From JE advance, IITs, triple ITs take admissions. And my college was in UPTU, Malab Uttar Pradesh Technical University. Okay. So you have different exam for Uttar Pradesh Technical also. So my mains got cleared, but my advance didn't happen that year. And my father is an engineer from HBDI. So he, in his time also, he has done a lot of hard work to get an entrance exam. So he was like, Ki, uh, you decide ki what you want to do, but it's difficult. If you want to drop a whole year, you will, should be focused. So I was like, Ki, I can be focused. I want to go attend to IIT, but we have a long discussion. Then I decided, Ki, let's. Uh, and he always wanted me to do MBA. So his mindset was always key, uh, first complete your study, then work. Money will come. Money is not a tension that you have to run behind it. Uh, first gain knowledge. If you have proper knowledge, you can earn money anytime. So he has always that thinking. So my family has supported me a lot in his studies, I will say. Uh, they have already my, always that mindset. If you want any money, any help, anything uh, for your studies, we are there. So I got coachings. I... I uh, spent a lot of money in entrance exams, but they were always there. Key for studies, we are always there. You want anything else. at home, you want a different room, you want table. You, well, they were very supportive. Tell key uh, for your studies, we are always there. So there are two ways to look at this. One is your family was rolling in money. Ki kitna bhi paisa chahiye le lo. The other thing was ki boss. इतने ही पैसे हैं लेकिन स्टडीज के लिए ले लो बाकी हम काट लेंगे हां सो इट वाज ओनली फॉर स्टडीज नॉट रोलिंग इन फॉर मनी बिकॉज़ इफ यू जस्ट पॉकेट मनी नहीं मिलती थी नो 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 यू डोंट हैव एनी पॉकेट मनी वंस इन अ वीक यू कैन आउट ईट आउटसाइड व्हाटएवर यू वांट आई डोंट हैव मच ऑफ लग्जरी फॉर बाय और एनीथिंग फॉर लाइक दैट आई यूज्ड टू गो बाय साइकिल सो that luxury they haven't given me expensive for anything that luxury they haven't given me but for studies they are like ki uh, we will give you from anywhere where we can save but take for studies so that's the thing so that's what i've understood now so studies ke liye jo bhi coaching chahiye jo bhi aur paisa chahiye we will give you uh, of course there is limited money in the family and and you used it you got a very high score in school in PCM and the boards and uh, and then you got into the engineering maybe you didn't get into IIT or whatever but you got into a good engineering school yeah so my engineering college was good but I will say uh, it, like in IAMS you say it's a student run college so I can say it proudly for my engineering college also so that was also a lot of things was a student run. Uh, any extracurricular activity which is happening, anything in college other than labs, which should be handled by faculty use only, but any other administrative things, students are very active and anything will be done with students uh, concerned only. Like I was the media head for my college. 
so we organize, we used to organize uh, national level fairs, different fairs. So, uh, or for any college social media sponsorship, so they helped me a lot. So they give us freedom, a lot of freedom. So if you see my college students also, our college is very average, private college. But if you see anyone from my batch also, they are well settled and doing well in life. So that I appreciate my college for. I mean, being a private college, it I did, aren't done. Why did you become a so Was the fees experience? very high in that private college? Uh, so fees was not that high. My four-year fees was uh, one lakh per year. It was high relative to any government call. But IITs, if you see, they also have fees around one lakh only. Right. So I will not say that it's too high. But uh, students were too much, if I will say, according to their capacity, what there should be. But if it's a private college, I also understand their constraint. They have to take out their expenses also. So. Sankalp, you, you mentioned you became PR head and and uh, you took all those responsibilities. What made you do that? If you uh, see the uh, back of my personality, I am someone who like to be involved in things. I will be actively doing different, different things at any point of time in my life. So that's how I am. So uh, in my college, I got uh, a edge for photography. In my second year, I started liking photography. I got a passion for that. And uh, I kept doing it. I kept doing some editing and all those works. So college has seen all those works and my hard work. So in third year, they uh, called uh, me and said, that, do you want to lead the team? So I was like, okay. And it helped me a lot. So I have a, a team member, four, 12 team member under me of different year, different branches. So it helped me a lot to how um, manage people, how to divide work, how to understand people. So what I personally used to do, I uh, call everyone, understand what they like. Because it's some extracurricular from your studies. Uh, you want to do what you like to do. So uh I generally call people, ask them what their interests are. And based on that, I used to divide work and uh, get uh, used to get a uh, sponsorship. I have got a sponsorship from uh, big brands for our college, college, Paytm and all. Uh, Canon came to our college. Uh, so uh, that helped me a lot to interact with people. A lot. To Actually, that's a very good, very good uh, point. Uh, how did you get Paytm and all these sponsorships? Tell us the stories. Uh, so Paytm at that time was expanding their payment gateway for colleges also. So they told that whatever fees your college accept, that should go through our gateway. Right. So uh, we can give you sponsorship and that should go to through our gateway. So we have a lot of meetings between our college administration, Paytm, and then we get them on board. Similarly, Canon, so they want to do just a workshop. Uh, in our college and make people aware about Canon cameras so that they came simply not that much of but, but, but him, did they tell you that this is what we want and then you did you connect them to the people in the college because that's a completely different wing right yeah so yeah that was how it happened so uh, our responsibility to was first to talk to PTM what they wanted then we have a faculty coordinator she connected and get all the details. Uh, then we have a meeting with our uh, senior administration and Paytm uh, market person. And then uh, we had this deal that if all the payments will be going through their gateway, uh, they will sponsor our first. So that's how we get them. Right. So you were doing all these things while doing engineering. Yeah. Now there are uh, various opinions on this, but one of the opinions sitting in England is what people think is engineering means engineering. It doesn't mean like a gateway to MBA. It doesn't mean like business. If you're doing engineering, then you are going to become an engineer, which is why very few people, at least in the UK, become engineers. But the ones, 80% of the people who become engineers, they go on to become like big engineers. You know what I mean? So in India, it is very different. And I also grew up in that time. Uh, it is very different. Engineering is just another high profile graduation. Here in India, I generally take engineering as a graduation only. So it's just, uh, well, engineering helps a lot. I personally believe that engineering helps me in MBA 
after my engineering also it helps a lot so how i think so uh, from my 11th standard i was doing coaching for entrance of my engineering college so i have that habit of doing that hard work and my mind is also a uh, little bit sharper logically if you matlab uh, i feel like when you uh, study physics and maths you start understanding their logic your mind start working logically so uh, and after engineering also engineering you have a, a curriculum test uh, final half yearly fit then uh, project then test then half yearly so it get you in that habit of working uh, what i matlab uh, if you don't learn engineering me engineering part very pe- less people learn because if you see in india if you see also iit is also people are not learning that much of engineering people are going in software companies data analyst or all those roles and coding most of them are doing different from their curriculum only because they want to get job so they are doing it different from their curriculum only but God. what curriculum help us is uh, to get us that habit of working hard and also that habit of uh, learning things logically so that i believe vix you had a question yes so i think when i look at your history sankal i feel like you were good in math and i think there are a lot of people like you who get held back in life due to english right yeah so what is your opinion about that do you think you got held back in life due to english like do you think you could have gone to say a better iim if say in up there was a better english education so uh, what i believe personally is uh everything what happens with you is your somewhere destiny so i didn't learn english that good in my uh, childhood my father always used to say ki work hard on english work hard on english but i personally didn't maybe didn't do that much work hard so maybe i left behind somewhere so i will not say that the problem of city it's much more of ki how you grow matlab people are different maybe somebody who is living in delhi and uh, do uh, honors in english uh, but their uh, maths may be not that good uh, so everybody has uh, different uh, strong points and different weak points but uh, yeah i have learned a lot in english also so uh, for my entrance exam if you see so i have planned a strategy that in english i am good at rcs maybe i am not good at opposite words or your jumble words i am maybe not good at that so you have to follow that strategy that how much uh, because cat is not something where you have to do all the questions you have to find out your strategy so uh, by uh, i used to analyze lot of tests i used to do lot of test series i used to do lot of practice so from there i analyzed that this part is strong where i can score uh, this much and uh, then i have to multiply on it to get better grades so that's how i uh, did it and i didn't get uh, anyways affected by that uh, by it that much i concentrated more on my maths part or lrdi part uh, maybe i am not good in english so i can score better here so that is strategy what i follow and i i am okay matlab like uh, i am learning good i uh, matlab now now i don't have any problem uh, with english matlab no, not before i am also so that's not a okay and how old are you cycle now so i i am 26 that's a very young age like at least in the us people at the age of 26 are still trying to figure out what they want to do next and they've already worked at amazon for two years you've done a four year engineering right it was a four year engineering four year yeah you worked you've done a four year engineering after undergraduate you worked at amazon for two years and you've done an mba for two years Yeah. And you've been working with ICSA for one year. Like you graduated last year, right? No, I graduated this year only, twenty twenty. Tell me this: How did you prepare for your CAT exams? Like, tell us in detail because there are a lot of people from Uttar Pradesh, just like you, who want to go to CAT, who want to pass CAT. So, how did you prepare for it, and what advice would you have for them? So, I will like to start with how how CAT is. CAT is just basically your education till ten. If your education till ten is strong. you can uh, do great in cat just you have to uh, keep your mind straight and uh, you have to strategize what you want to do and what you want to not to do and how papers come if you are your uh, education till 10th is good 
then it's work out so well, how i did it i concentrated on uh, both english quant and ldi i was good at so that part uh, i have concentrated less on so in quant what is ldi ldi is logical reasoning and data interpretation so there are three sections uh, currently in cat first is uh, your verbal reasoning english part then second part is ldi um, logical reasoning and uh, data interpretation part and last part is quantitative analysis maths part so english what i used to do uh, i uh, am not that strong in uh, puzzle words or opposite words uh, those words so what i used to do i read daily uh, like 10 to 15 words and try to make some sentences out of out of that so that i can remember that how these words are used so that's how i improved my english and uh, i used to focus on uh, like there are four uh, essays in english so i used to focus on only three my reading speed is slow maybe my understanding speed may be slow from someone one else so i what i used to do i used to focus on only three so so that i can give them more time and if your uh, wrong answers are less in cat you can score good marks in cat so that's how i uh, did my english for uh, logical reasoning so uh, i used to just understand the logics and then most of the problems got solved with for me uh, for paper day it was not that good ldi part what i was expecting because i was expecting somewhere around 99 plus uh, based on my exams which i have gone through i have given uh, time series i have given cl series i used to give lot of tests and analyze them so uh, i was confident in ldi and quant uh, that i can score good uh, so quant uh, has gone good for me for that to quant have gone very good for me in that there were 25 question for maths and i got 24 correct out of them so for uh, as that to it has gone very good for me but for cat uh, it was a uh, little bit of ldi i missed so that's why my percentile get stuck somewhere around so ankur a quick question so did you think that you had prepared a lot for cat but and you would have done well but it was just that day that day didn't perfectly happen yeah so um, i will say ki that day was for everybody one yeah for me yeah. but, but for someone it, but but for someone it could have have happened better than they actually prepared because you know uh, so, uh, so it's all the mindset of that day how cool you are going and how uh, settled you are matlab if you get into a stress mode it will automatically go wrong uh, because uh, i was in a somewhere in a situation where i have to do mba somehow somewhere good so i got little bit stressed out ki if it will not get i will not get this much marks i may do bad so uh, i will suggest anybody who is preparing you that don't don't go with any stress just go relax uh, be confident and it will happen if you are prepared well it will happen for it and uh, no preparation goes waste so i don't i believe in no preparation and no situation goes waste you have a learning so all my cat preparation what happened in in my two year of amazon work experience i was monotonously working on my system doing analytics part and all those things but my mind was little bit not that active in if you say in quant uh, study part if you say in quant or ldi if uh, somebody who is working for 3 to 5 years if you suddenly give them something uh, to calculate they have they will think for some time but my cat preparation helped me to get my mind active again on all those things which helped me uh, after my, in my mba lord so how long did you prepare for cat uh, so if you see my uh, main preparation it was for last 4 uh, to 5 months i was preparing from uh, like uh, from an year uh, uh, daily one to hour but in last four to five uh, months i have was daily giving at least one of test analyzing it uh, looking after what all have gone wrong what i can correct so three months i have you, so how were you working for amazon and doing this preparation at the same time uh, so i uh, i have left the amazon uh in 2021 march and my exam was in uh, 2000 in november so between okay. i was with my father i told you my father business yes. get yes. like due to it uh so i was helping him out to export the new markets 
So all these wiring system which uh, he has developed for e vehicles, I helped him explore all that. I helped him get the new into the new market. Uh, so because for him alone also it was difficult. So at that time I understand and I helped him for all. So the last six okay. months of CAD, you had a slightly more uh, leeway in terms of preparation time because you're working for your father rather than for a company. Yeah. Yeah, so and, and you were saying you were doing one or two hours uh, every day, even before that. What were you preparing then? Uh, so I started preparing uh, from uh, one year back only. Uh, from January, I started preparing. So I how did got... you prepare? Did you like sign up for a coaching class? Did you use uh, like uh, at our time there used to be uh, like people used to mail you some books if you could study from those books? Did you use like that kind of service, it's a little IMS. I had used IMS uh, 24 years yeah, ago. IMS. It's so, still there. IMS is still there. I'm sure yeah, it was app. Bhi ho gaya, Rabi. Now, though, they are big uh, coaching. They have website, they have app, they have everything. So, they have big coaching. There are a lot of centers in Gajewa, Noida, Delhi. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, well, I, I have joined the coaching. I have joined uh, MBA group. But uh, for me personally, my coaching part was more, more of to bring me to the regularity. And uh, I learned a lot of shortcuts at later stage. So for math, uh, for me, maths was uh, quick, but there are some shortcuts for everything. Uh, if you go to Vedic math and all those things. So my coaching helped me in all those uh, learning, all those Vedic math tricks and all those things. Other than that, in English also, they helped me a lot. Uh, because in English, I was facing little bit problems. So they helped me a lot. Uh, so coaching is good. But uh, uh, I will say for MB, coaching is just a secondary thing. Your personal motivation or personal, uh, how your how coach much, is... Uh, how much was the fees for MBA Guru? I think it was for me 50,000. Because... And for that, did they, where are you living at that time? And is it like online? Is it? Uh, yeah, that was lockdown. So it was all online. Okay. Uh, yeah, that was lockdown period only. And you were doing it from home? Yeah, I was doing it from home. So uh, coaching coaching helped me to regularize it. I have coaching this, I have studied, so this I have to do. So uh, that's what coaching helped me for. Not much of new learning, if you say, because I have given once a uh, cat in my VTech. That time I didn't prepare, didn't do nothing. So that time also I scored 85. So uh, it was not that much of learning, but it... Uh, Channelized my energy that this is I have read today. This will I complete today. So that what helped me because with so job. Me, it, so tell me this. So how much credit will you give to coaching? Will you recommend someone who is say, six years junior PO just finishing their college in uh, Uttar Pradesh? Will you recommend them to get coaching? So now all the models which I have seen, I will recommend them to get some good online coaching. Though uh, many faculties are not taking that much fees and they are doing a lot of hard work. Because if you go for these uh, old coaching names, na, IMS or Times or uh, CL, they all have uh, fees, a hefty fees, matlab, large fees. But there how, are, much, how much is the approximate fees at these places? Na? 50k to is there or plus 50, 50k plus fees is there. But if you go for uh, those new startups or new guys uh, or new faculties which were in this coaching and now uh, teaching separately online. So they take a lot lot less fees. They take 10,000 and they are working much more harder because they want to create their name also. So I will, and online you can, uh, if you are uh, self-motivated, you can uh, dedicate your time and you can regularize it. Uh, just coaching help it more in regularizing, not much of much of learning. Just uh, after the analysis part, you can discuss with your faculty that uh, I am not good in uh, speed or time, work done, uh, questions. And you can discuss those questions with your faculty, but that you have to figure out. That coaching will not go for you. So uh, that what I... So will you recommend someone to from a middle class family in Uttar Pradesh where the family is making 3 lakh rupees per year for father, mother, two kids... 50,000 is a lot of money, you know? So, yeah. You... Like, so, is very less income nowadays. If I will say, if 6 lakh is also someone earning, I will not suggest them to take 50,000 uh, 
rupee coaching i will suggest them to uh, first clarify their topics go to tenth math clarify all the topic for english uh, read more books and then join the test series and if they are not figuring out in that test series what are the problems they are facing or how to improve that then they can consult someone with much less fees uh, than giving to a coach but if you can spare like 10000 rupees is not much for you and uh, then you can join because it will help you regularize it will help you learn new things uh, in and so if you are regular with them for from starting and then they teach lot of short uh, lot of uh, difficult question also which uh, generally people leave so i scored 9 i uh, scored 94 correct answers from 95 question in z which is a difficult paper uh, comparatively to cat but that i was able to do because in coaching we were at last those who were uh, above 99 percentile they were doing uh, that level of questions also they were making them practice to do that level of questions also so uh, that help but if somebody has not prepared for that they will not maybe not be able to do that acha so help me understand this so you know ek question what i'm hearing is that acha if you have resources go do coaching it will help you be more regularized help me understand the other question if you are not going to our nagpur and if you are just continue to travel around would you have been financially better off today because by going to our nagpur you had a three year break in your career right approximately three year break in your career if and 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 let's not and let's make it very exact whatever your salary was in amazon increment that 10% each year would you have crossed your salary at icici today so if i say maybe 10% to uh, i w- i have crossed but i would have switched also uh, so after 3 4 year i would have tried to find some switch also or uh, internally i have tried to switch to some better role or maybe i have gotten a promotion uh, so my salary may be increased maybe i am somewhere uh, not financially that good currently because uh, mba fees is 18.5 lakh and we have loans uh but uh, salary is almost equal uh if i will say but uh, m- more than salary i am help me a lot so in um, i have taken major in strategy and consulting and i am nagpur i have done major in strategy and consulting so in my strategy and consulting what were the best part is we don't have uh, normal books or something we have case study so uh, like we have a case study of airlines so uh, if i will not want to i am i am never to study a, uh, about the how airlines earn money what are different type of airlines every different type of airline has different uh, structure or financial structure for earning money so that i may have not understand if i have not want to i am i we have uh, learned on quick commerce why such a large investment is in coming in quick commerce what is that point after breaking which Uh, the quick commerce company which are making losses will automatically start making profit automatically customers start adding so all those business knowledge i wouldn't have got if i have not got into an i am and uh, so currently also uh, my role is in business banking in icici so where we were are fund, uh, funding smeg businesses so i have to understand those businesses what they do so this i am helped me a lot ki uh, after seeing so like here in uh, hyderabad there is a startup named sit farms theek hai so uh, i to so just talking to them i am able to figure out ki what are their model of earning so they were like ki they don't sell that much in uh, walmart or uh, big stores they more focus on subscription product or direct to customer product then so it helped me understand in an instant ki ha because uh, if they want to go to big stores they have to give the price for the se- se- uh, shelf for storage whatever the return they have to accept it but they are going directly to client their returns are reduced they don't have to give shelf price so uh, these all knowledge i have learned a lot in mba so my uh, majors in strategy and consulting also helped me to uh, go through lot of case studies like from different sector traveling sector how traveling make money how air bnb make money so this all learning i may have not got if i so, so, have studied ankal from what i am hearing from you is that while from a pure salary perspective 
you may not be earning a lot more than you would anyways have been doing had you not done the MBA. Yeah. Right. Maybe your salary would have still grown to the same level as today. Yeah. But it's for the future. So the MBA is for the future. It is for the next 20, 30, 40 years of your life that you've already got that basic grounding. Is yeah. that right? Uh, yeah, so you get got it right. So my, this is my base. So now where I am starting, this is my base. For, for engineering, this is my upper level. Well, upper not to middle level to it was. But for now, it is my base. So after, uh, like currently I am ICICI, I am looking for, uh, uh, thinking of uh, going for some better business role where I can uh, use my more business knowledge or my consulting knowledge. So I, I want to grow after that in that field. So uh, this will give me that base. If I have not done MBA, that I have not got gotten this base. I was uh, somewhere stuck there. Very interesting because there is a thought process, at least in Silicon Valley, that MBA is not that useful of a degree. Like whatever you learn in MBA, you can also learn just by reading books or uh, watching podcasts. Like what Silicon Valley values is hard technical knowledge, like the knowledge that you had at your engineering and also the knowledge, the operational knowledge that you were having at Amazon. Uh, but what I'm hearing from you is that in your own opinion, MBA has been helpful to you to give you a broader perspective. Yeah, so uh, the, like the, uh, I, I was telling you in Amazon, I was working as an analyst. So that time we don't have that knowledge key how much financial or uh, business model impact it is creating what work we were doing. Malab, in percentages or if we, I can put it in and back. And, and your work was doing address by address. So one particular address you will verify is this address correct or not, how to get there. And you'll update the instructions in your software and all that? No, so it's not address by address. It's like whole uh, bunch of address. So keywords are fixed. So if I say take the address of Hyderabad. So Hyderabad is a keyword. Then um, I live in Talapur. Talapur is, uh, is a keyword. After that, if you see, uh, this is a uh, Di Manjira Diamond Height Towers. So Diamond Height Towers is a keyword. So uh, what software does? It uh, separate these keywords and learn based on that. Uh, I am making sense. No, you are not making sense. Learn based on that what? Learn what? Yeah, learn based on those keywords. So, uh, so it will learn first uh, till Hyderabad level. Uh, software will, uh, will learn the address till Hyderabad level. Then it will see that Talapur is there. So it will learn the address till Talapur. Then it will see that Manjira Diamond Tower uh, keyword is there. So it will learn till the Manjira Di uh, Diamond Tower level. If I, is, I have given tower and it has available data for that tower. Like I lives in L block. So if I, it has data till L block, so it will learn till L block. That tower level. Okay, Baba, thought you were engineering. Uh, which field did you do? You did in computer science? No, I did in electrical and electronics. Okay. But what do you mean by learn? Like that's just like a, like a simple database search, right? Like there's no learning involved there. Ha, so uh, database search is basically uh, what I am saying learning means is Ki, uh, like uh, if you search on Google Hyderabad so it will show you whole Hyderabad so somewhere back of the uh, at the back end somebody has uh, made that software or in, uh, coded inside that software that this is Hyderabad boundary okay so that uh, that coding what I am saying is learning well, uh, basically uh, if uh, your keyword Hyderabad matches so uh, Google, if you put any address and just Hyderabad, you put the word and you write your name and Hyderabad. So uh, what Google will do, Google will show you Hyderabad only because your name it can't search in their database or they don't have that in their software. So uh, based on those keywords, our uh, basic part is to uh, make the system learn, those, uh, uh, those system get, uh, system should get those keywords from the database. So we create mm -hmm. SOPs based on that, which we provide to technical team, which uh, coding team, basically. Mm -hmm. And they uh, make the software, uh, they could make the code for the software that, uh, that mm -hmm. uh, so writing the software, I am seeing learning. Very interesting. So according to you, coaching should be done if people can afford. According to you, doing an I IAM MBA was worth it, even though, Salary level, you're probably at a very similar salary if you did the MBA or if you did not do the MBA. 
but you think that for future it will be worth it yeah so uh, that that uh, what i think because uh, before i uh, getting into mba i didn't have this much broader knowledge of businesses but now after getting into mba i have much broader knowledge of businesses uh, other than that businesses if i leave also i have much uh, better communication skills what i have learned better presentation skills so i was uh, the finalist in vgard vgard is a company in india so they have a competition in which uh, we have to make some house product uh, innovative house product so uh, i uh, was a finalist for that product so it helped me a lot ki how to uh, visualize a product how to understand the analyze the market uh, how can that product be fitted in that market uh, mm-hmm. what will be your market chunk so we presented it on the stage and it gave me a lot of learning ki how to present different things how to present it in a way that you should know what is the uh, other person going to ask you so you should be telling these things in uh, the line and uh, uh, like uh, what are the product specification what is the market size so they asked us ki why you take this market size as this uh, so we know ki uh, this is going to come so we were prepared ki yeah we have taken market size uh, because this should be like this uh, so that uh, and we have made in all these things a lot analytics part now i can visualize things so in analytics uh let earlier i was not that much good at visualizing so now we i can visualize and uh, find different factors so if you see in blinkit if you order a bread it will automatically show you the milk so uh, in mb i understand ki why it shows the milk what are the analytical part is done uh, at if you don't order milk for 5 to 6 times uh, it will stop showing you milk it will show what you order with it with your bread so how those all part are done so uh, also for uh, startups i learned a lot ki uh, how uh, vcs fund an startup what are their strategy when they want to get an exit uh, how growth um, growth works so n- most of the startup in which vcs were uh, vcs invest is ki they want growth much more uh, focus on growth if you see so uh, i learned ki what uh, what are the why they want growth so for zapto uh, why will they want growth uh, for uber why they they want growth why they want to capture the market first and then they can make profit at later stages but earlier what i used to think if you see me uh, if i have not done mba or if somebody has not done mba what they will say they are making losses but they will not see ki in future when they have the market they can make profit and they can dictate the price according to them So I just tell me this uncle I uh, while talking to you I've noticed that you have very beautiful nails usually I don't see people having long nails what is the story behind that so I like keeping nails <laughs> just okay. like nothing when did we start it from childhood no 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 so from few year back matlab I am comfortable in my nails so I am much more comfortable with things with my nails so my my hand is slippery bit sometimes so my na- nails help me so I just okay so okay now let us change our uh, frame okay let us talk about and again see we are, we, are, we think about a boy in uttar pradesh who is in a middle class family is in uh, doing his uh, bachelor's and is trying to decide ki should i do iim or not so tell us what does a day in your life by tanisha is look like and second if you are comfortable tell us what is your salary at tanisha okay So yeah I am comfortable sharing my salary so current somewhere around 16 uh, So current. that's really good as ek baat soch ke dekho in Uttar Pradesh there's so many people like I think it's one of the most populous states in India and I think if it was a country it would be larger than any european country right yeah. and uh, 16 lakhs is good amount of money for a middle class boy from Uttar Pradesh right like who do you do you agree like Like is that aspirational enough for everybody who went to high school with you? Suppose a lot of people in your high school will be watching this YouTube episode, right? When you share with them, and they'll say, "Acha, there used to be a sankal in that class." Because I don't think how many people from your high school made it to our rooms. Uh, so very few. I mean, not much uh, from my high school. If you see, not much of people have made it for two years. Because five people till today. Ha, if you see senior, junior, uh, there will be more than five people. But if you see my batch, there are two or three people only. Okay, uh, so when they watch this video, sixteen lakhs is is that aspirational in India today? 
Or is, do people aspire to get that? Or do you think everybody thinks you may that to will? So after MBA, it's not that aspirational because we have given somewhere around 18.5 lakh of fees. So we have loans around 20 to 23 lakhs of loans we have. Which we and have also the sixteen lakhs that this uh, sixteen lakhs that you earn, a bunch of it goes in taxes, a bunch of it is bonus, a bunch of it is retirement fund and all that. So how much are you getting in hand each month? Uh, so uh, uh, in uh, in our company, more of retention. So for first year, we will be getting around seventy five in hand something, and but later that uh, retention part will be getting get added into your salary. So that's the thing. But ICICI Bank is not that aspirational for an uh, MBA student because uh, if I will tell you how my day looks like, so yes. my day, yeah. So uh, generally, uh, I, I I am working in business banking as an RM. So my 10 to 20% part is to bring new client and analyze their business, uh, that how much revenue they are doing, what are their profits, what properties they have, how much can bank fund them if they are asking for 50 crores can we fund them 50 crores does they have the uh, we can sanction 50 crores but companies don't have drawing power of 50 crore they maybe have drawing power of 10 crore they maybe have drawing power of 20 crore so analyzing all those part is just 20 percent of my work other 80 percent of my work is more of paperwork paperwork for loan which uh, ever it is that apart will also be done by me only so all the uh, stock holdings, all government certificates and all those things. So that part is little bit uh, which MBA people, if you see on a broader level, don't like. Uh, but uh, the business part is good. You will be getting a good knowledge of business. So now I know how uh, loans work. So if in future I go for any startup, I can tell them how to get a loan from any bank. I can uh, tell them what are the stocks uh, they have to keep, what are the uh, property they should keep, how much percent should they should keep. So there are different type of loans also, like working capital is different and term loan is different and cash credit is different. So now I can guide them. If I go into any business, any startup or any consulting firm also, uh, so consulting also in consulting also this help key uh, on what rate, you can get a loan from bank at what rate uh, will uh, open market will give you at what rate VCs give you. So uh, this uh, part of my role is good, but the paperwork part is not much liked by anyone who is. So Sankalp, I, I, I will just jump in and tell you one thing. And this is my learning over the last 25 years. Yeah. Is that paperwork, everyone at the junior level thinks is bad. By the time you become CEO, that is probably 95% of what you'll anyways be doing. It's not like you're getting sales or business anywhere. You're you're basically signing things. Huh. Right? Everything you're doing is reading and signing, reading and signing. So everything is paperwork at the senior level. So one way that maybe you can look at it is that you're doing senior level work which is the paperwork? Uh, so, uh, no, nah, it's in good. But the ICICI Bank, uh, I am uh, uh, learning a lot of things and it's good for me. Uh, but my aspiration is uh, more into uh, business and some consulting roles uh, because my background is that. So, like if you see, I come from a business family and after that I have done my BTEC. After that, I was working as an analyst. And also, uh, my major is in strategy and consulting. So, my mind work like that. But paperwork, uh, maybe sometime it feel ki you are not learning something or you are not doing something creative. So, my, my mind work on creative things and all those things very good. So, so tell me one I, thing. So, so, so you come from a business family, like you said, and uh, your father has a business. Yeah, uh, you've learned. In the last few years, you've learned a few things about business, working before MBA, after MBA, during MBA, you've learned a lot of theory. Why not apply that and actually grow that business? Is that a thought that you've been evaluating? Yeah, so I have been evaluating that thought, but uh, currently, uh, so I will like to uh, show you the whole that uh, business scenario in India currently. Sure. 
So hmm. uh, you go for any a small business where you are manufacturing something for a bigger OEM. So what the problem is now, if I am uh, uh, like developing wire for Bajaj, so Bajaj will tell me from whom I should buy the wire, from whom sh- I should buy the shoulder, from whom I should buy the cup- coupler, uh, from whom I should buy all the raw materials. So I am just manufacturing it and then passing it to Bajaj. So if you see, uh, my part to earn money is very less. Because Bajaj know how much price you are buy, uh, buying the wire at, how much price you are buying the shoulder at, and uh, Bajaj know how much manufacturing uh, price it will be for you. So Bajaj will be giving me very less of cut, matlab less of percentage. So uh, no margin, going, no margin, basically squeezing you on price. Yeah, squeezing us on price. And they have people ready and they have their investment ready ki if you don't want to do, we will... Uh, we can tomorrow open our, uh, there is no uniqueness in that business. Right. So what I want to do, I recently, uh, before my MBA, I started business for sanitary pads with my father. So uh, there we, uh, what we used to do is we source it from China. From China, there is a whole container ca- comes and you have to pay for it one time. Then we used to uh, label it in our name and used to sell it in a small market. So, uh, here in India, if you go for the businesses which are going directly to customer or have some unique value where you can create your uh, name, that will be a good business. But if you go in that monotonous business, the problem is that you are squeezed too much. Now in India, you can't, uh, like earlier what happens is, maybe it go, should go on official or should not. But earlier what it happened happens is uh, that you can do a little bit 30, 40%, 50% in black, 50% in white. So you earn a decent amount and your expenses were met. But now from the time GST has came, now you can't do even 10% in cash. You have to somehow do everything in white only. Right. So uh, margins are cut very, very, very drastically. So that's why... Because what I'm hearing, what I'm hearing is that whether it's sanitary napkins, whether it's uh, nuts and bolts or parts for Bajaj. Yeah. Basically, what I'm hearing uh, is you've been able to apply the business sense that you already had. Yeah. Combine it with the IAM, the, the theory that you learned there. Yeah. And now you're thinking bigger than just your dad's business or, or or just something and you're thinking, okay, how do I use both of these together, practice and theory and combine it? Yeah. Make so a big business, was... either your own or 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 for another big company or a corporate or a consulting. Yeah. So that what my plan currently is to apply my all these business knowledge or uh, for currently, so I am looking for some big corporate or some startup where I can use this knowledge. And Just like if I can understand this. So one of the episodes that we did around four or five months ago was with one of our batchmates, Saurabh Singh. He used to be an investor in Bank of London. Uh, in the year 2000, he got a job of around one crore in London. So very, very smart boy, you know. And from London, he returned and he started a factory in Calcutta to manufacture scientific pads. To manufacture scientific napkins. And he said that that's a growing market in India because Indian women don't use those scientific napkins. And he has his own brand and so on. What I want to understand from you is <coughs> take me through that business of the scientific napkin where you got the container from China, you put your brand on it, and you try to sell it, right? And again, think of a young 22 year old boy from Uttar Pradesh who wants to start his own business with his own brand. What were your learnings from that? And what would you do different today? And what would it have taken for that business to become a big in business? So, uh, so basically in sanitary pet, there are uh, in India, there are two type of companies. One is uh, very big, like Pampers and all those are, those are big companies which invest a lot in uh, digital marketing, TV ads, and all those things. So the middle class and upper middle class women, they uh, mostly go, they buy from name only. And there is a second type of market, which are 
little poor or uh, people from lower class or uh, lower middle class who doesn't know that much of fancy names they just want ki they get also the sell. price of fancy names is also higher so pricing was also a lot different so your margin will also be less because they are producing at higher uh, pace high in, in machine uh, yeah their price will be lower and their margins will be large so you can't compete with them if you go in uh, investment part you can't compete with them but if you grow from uh, a small level you start reaching the small villages and uh, also doing campaigning ki why sanitary napkin is important so it more of a campaigning if you want to grow it uh, ki making people aware of sanitary napkins together making your brand awareness so it will help that to the sankal that sounds like wo ek oh, akshay kumar ki movie thi right yeah something like that padman so uh, if you uh, do those campaigns so uh, uh, you aap unko bataoge ki importance kya hai sanitary napkins ki sath mein aapka product ki bhi marketing ho jayegi to usme government ki bhi aapko thodi si help mil sakti hai ek to kyunki aap uh, logo ko aware kar rahe ho to wahan pe aapko help ho jati hai thodi तो और दूसरा डिजिटल पे आपको बहुत फोकस करना पड़ेगा लाइक like, आज का अभी एक आई वॉज लुकिंग आफ्टर तो अभी एक आया है कि उन्होंने बोला है कि हम बिल्कुल बायोडिग्रेडेबल प्रोडक्ट्स से सैनिटरी नैपकिन बना रहे हैं और हमारे में कोई भी जेल नहीं है जिससे आपको कोई साइड uh, इफेक्ट हो ठीक है तो ऐसी यूनिकनेस uh, अगर आपके प्रोडक्ट में आप कुछ भी लेके आ सकते हो जैसे uh, वो बायोडिग्रेडेबल से बना रहे हैं देवर दे आर मेकिंग फ्रॉम बायोडिग्रेडेबल so uh, they are also uh, targeting those customer who are more active to environment so uh, that segment they can uh, convert toward uh, towards them with, by just uh, making this additional proposal ki we are making from biodegradable material acha quick question ki ye biodegradable or is type ki cheeze to ye procter and gamble ya ye badi companies karenge when you are reaching the masses when you are reaching the smaller towns wahan pe ye is that a big thing no but uh, for smaller places it's not a big thing but if you want to get uh, entry in that middle class middle upper class or little bit the young generation which is educated if you want to get entry to so, those people so t- tell us about your business what was your brand and why didn't you choose to continue doing that business why did you go choose to go do your education So somehow you must have seen that the business is not taking off, or it's not making enough profit. Ha. Yeah, so uh, our business is basically just do the labeling. Our name was Real Comfort. So we were doing the labeling, and then we were in Uttar Pradesh. Those uh, small retailers, we were reaching them and asking them to keep uh, because these are products which also get sell for poor people who don't know names. They just look at it. It uh, gets uh, sell from the shelf only. how much visibility you are getting so visibility is a large factor in this so uh, reaching those uh, small customer visibility is a large factor so what how much is your margin based on what you your container landing price and the price that you were selling how much was the delta how much money you had to play with if you see uh, the whole delta it was around 40% more than 40% 42 43% but if you see all the expenses which we we were uh, we have to give extra to the retailer also because if he he will only sell our product above a branded name if he getting more margin like if he is getting 5 rupees from a diaper uh, and from our product he is getting 10 rupees so he will he can push our product so uh, that uh, that's how we were dealing but uh, i realized in that ki if we want to play a big bigger game there in two things required for us uh, one is uh, you we have to get better digital marketing so that time i learned the digital marketing also a lot uh, how to grow on amazon how to grow on flipkart so th- these are big game now nowadays in india though uh, if you can uh, make a brand on amazon also uh, you can grow a lot so uh, that uh, i have got admission in mba and my father was like ki uh, for now just complete your studies after that you do anything but that time i learned on digital marketing also so uh, what i believe is for an startup with not that much of fund and uh, they want to earn from this start digital uh, marketing 
and reaching the customer on the digital pro- platform and making awareness on the digital platform. Like creating, uh, like if you have seen, there is a girl named Nisha. So she used to sell hair extension. So what she does, she make her personal brand and then attach that brand to his uh, extension brand. So that helped her a lot to reach the customers. So this type of digital marketing and creating the brand is very important. Very interesting. So I I want to talk, see, uh, Miglani has been out of the country for 15, 16 years now. I've been out of the country for 23 years now. So our touch with our country has reduced. But what we hear in media is that Uttar Pradesh has a huge unemployment problem. Is that true? So unemployment problem uh, from last one or two years, it has grown a bit because uh, from the time this chat GPT and all the softwares came, IT companies were the mass hiring for any B-Tech or if you say graduate, IT companies were a lot mass hiring for MBAs also. So this year, if you see any MBA college placement report also, they have all gone down. Uh, if you see any MBA college. So uh, because IT companies has hired less people this year, uh, just maybe because market is conservative currently and US and uh, Europe market is not that much growing, maybe uh, because it affect India also a lot currently. So IT companies are big chunk a big people which hire in masses. So that's why uh, the, uh, currently uh, unemployment is very high. And also, if I go to UP, uh, my personal experience is this also, if you go to a smaller level, like in Aligarh, so I, we have a manufacturing uh, unit. But lot of people don't want to work also because they are getting subsidies from government. Uh, they only want to work that much that they can eat at night and drink at night so they don't think beyond that uh, so that's also a big problem uh, if you see in the uh, because uh, we all always have uh, less work we always want to hire people who want to work but uh, people has the mindset that uh, from the starting day they keep counting how much boss is earning and uh, they and second mindset is uh, if they have food for night and drink for night, that's enough for them. So they don't want to work beyond that. So, so that's Sankal, a- your first point, your first point, which was on IT companies hiring less because of uh, chat GPT and AI coming. Do you see that in your day-to-day life? Yeah, what is the impact of chat GPT at, in your work? How much of your, uh, do you use chat GPT, Sankal? Uh, so now in banking, so there are uh, set procedures. So in banking, use of chat GPT, no software use, but you can use their softwares only yeah. Yeah. and their uh, set procedure. But if I say in, uh, like if you go in consulting, if I go, okay. So uh, earlier what used to happen, there is a partner, then uh, there is a, a senior consultant, then there is a consultant, then there are analysts. So analysts provide analysis to the consultant, then they uh, prepare presentations and all, and then senior uh, they provide it to senior consultant or partners who pitch it to uh, customers. So what happened is now this layer has little bit decreased because the uh, where you earlier need four or five people for creating presentations or for analytical part, now software are better. So you don't need four to five people there are two if two people who are expert in that, they can only do it. So that's how little bit of job cut, not job cut, but uh, less hiring is there. Okay. And uh, do you use chat GPT in your personal life? Yeah. So and uh, if you see for education or for personal life, I think chat GPT or any of these AI software is very good if you know what you should ask, what you are asking. And what you want from it. But if you don't, if you uh, randomly, uh, you have a question, you randomly ask chat GPT, it will give some answer, but it will give some random answer. Uh, it's not that useful. But, so, Sankar, no, but, but so you use chat GPT in your normal life. And when you go to ICS and you work, sometimes don't you think that Achha, maybe I can create some software on top of chat GPT that can do the work that my whole department is doing? Or like the 80% of work that you think is paperwork? Can be done by a software that I make. 
so if uh, if you ask me for icici i think a lot lot of things need to be improved in indian banking currently It still need to be improved lot of things so lot of paperwork can be done online uh, but there are some security constraint there are some rbi constraint because of which uh, matlab their softwares are also little bit old if you uh, so i have worked in amazon i have seen the latest technology latest whichever thing comes amazon was one of the first company to use it and uh, now i am seeing in banking like icici so they are not that tech driven because their main business is different uh, you can say that also but they can use lot of technology like for paperwork if i say so we need uh, to create a camp uh, so there is a software which uh, after putting all the uh, profit loss percentages it can tell us how much loan we can give to our customers but still they are doing from pen pencil also so uh, this is uh, because in banking if you give something wrong to matlab uh, i deal in uh, loans bigger than 20 crores so if one point is uh, gone wrong whole uh, matlab it will be question mark on me uh, only so uh, that's why uh, it's more of technical more of paperwork so that more uh, accuracy to it's not there but yeah it's like that only currently system so i want to double click on two points point number 1 if you deal in loans bigger than 20 crores to small and medium enterprises that means you are playing a critical role in the growth of our country like the loans that you are giving it is these businesses that are creating jobs it is these businesses that will become globally competitive right yeah yeah uh, and how yeah. many loans are you giving in a month Like give me and give me an idea in a month on an average one load or less than a load maybe in two three months one load like what's the what's the velocity? So velocity is very less. So in one month we uh, processes one loan at max. Well, uh, for one RM it's one or two loan at max because uh, one loan from getting analyzed to their uh, property getting uh, valued. Uh, then all the paperwork, then all the feedback from government agencies, uh, then disbursement. It take more than thirty days. And what is the interest rate on these loans at this time? Eight or nine percent? So they are, that's not fixed. That depend uh, per business to business. Currently. Approximately. And what is the range? So uh, what's the lowest? What's the lowest for a good good credit business? Ha. Huh, so for good credit business, ICIC is. a little bit higher than hdfc or kotak if you see icic goes somewhere around 9 8.5 to 9 if it's very good because a uh, spread of uh, currently rbi rate is 6.5 so uh, they take a spread of 2.5 3 3.5 2.5 mostly they take if that's a good mm. business uh, is it uh, tell me about a business that you have loaned money you've only been working with icic for 3 months has there been any business that you have loaned money yeah so if uh, you uh, i was telling you about the set farms so they deals uh, they make uh, their deals in milk uh, products uh, curd milk lassi chaat all those products uh, cow milk and all those so what my role was to analyze the business uh, that is not making losses one thing second thing what how much property uh, they are uh, keeping as a collateral uh, third key how much uh, like receivables and their inventories so inventory help us decide the disbursement level how much we can disburse because uh, that's a working capital loan so working capital loan how much i will uh, going to give they have to use in inventory receivables and all those things they can't use it for other purposes for their personal investment or any purpose so we have to analyze that how much we can uh, uh, disburse and uh, based on their property their whole business we uh, decide a sanction amount if we can uh, sanction 50 crores we can sanction 100 crores how much we can sanction and based on and based on that is the drawing right because if so you that, allow 50 crores doesn't mean you can the business can take 50 crores from my sense no no based on their raw material they are receivables uh, based on that their drawing power is decided uh, 50 crore is decided based on the collateral which they have put 
collateral and their uh, all the properties their business level it's so interesting one of the gold medalists from our batch his name is vibhor mehra after the call uh, google help he is trying to do this whole small and medium enterprise loaning in a much more technology friendly and a modern way yeah, so that uh, i think yeah so he is taking like a startup approach on changing the sme funding landscape in india so talking to you uh, uh, like you work in sanitary napkins one of our batchmates is doing a sanitary napkin business he's manufacturing his own and vivo mera is trying to do the sme funding uh where you know like i say say he's paying you a lot of money and then taking a month to disburse loan if somebody could make that decision within a week if somebody could make it such that the it systems of the small business itself was giving data to icici directly he had said this is by raw material leach and money could get sanctioned so a lot of these things can be automated right yeah so th- uh, this is uh, required in india to uh, make an whole it uh, process where you can collaborate clients with your banking system so uh, if they are ordering yes. raw material there will be some slip so if that uh, ma- and that is on also online currently everyone is using erp so you can connect that erp with the system and system can automatically decide that how much dispersing power it should have or how much uh, yeah. also proper properties also we have to uh, do the valuation differently uh, from a dif- if there is a different department who done the valuation of properties only so but if we have a, a software which can do it automatically online it will be very easy matlab like paperwork get uploaded and all the process is done online so that will be very easy but uh, if you see in indian market the problem is also people don't trust so uh, if uh, all the i mean i used to read lot of these digital product if i uh, if you say me any digit and um, there is uh, more companies for uh, currently for insurance and all those things online so they have done a lot good work in insurance but uh, investment is uh, required lot there matlab to do marketing to make people aware ki na ye bhi theek hai because on digit also currently also if you a uh, lot of people are afraid if we take medical loan from here will it be uh, uh, when we required will they give us money will it we can trust them or not so that a uh, thing uh, you have to invest on to make people aware of so, so let's see at, like, at your what? current stage of your career uh, what's your vision for the next 3 years of the future and i won't ask for 30 years because who knows what 30 years nobody knows and nobody knows uh, take it from people who are 20 uh, like an one generation ahead of you yeah. and uh, if i say so say so myself went to uh, a better i am you know i think we can say that i am i am not poor nobody knows more than 3 years in advance okay if you can predict 3 years that's good at all so uh, so don't even that's ask that's really good really yeah. good 3 yeah. years is really good so what is your 3 year prediction of or, or, or uh, not prediction what's your 3 year aim for yourself that yes. this is when yes. i will be in 2027 july or december yes uh, so in three year what i am looking for is uh, uh, i am looking for a management role where i can use much more of my business knowledge and um, where i can make a, a better impact i will say so so i tell you a secret cycle if you're looking for a management role where you can have a better impact and mix correct me if i'm wrong okay because i think it also has a wider implication to a lot of youngsters in india it has to be in a startup it cannot be in a bigger company because a bigger company has a hierarchy has a pyramid structure so you will have to join at the bottom if you want to have an impact you have to be in your mid 40s by the time you're in the role where you can start having impact would you agree with that yeah, i won't uh, agree or disagree I, i i would say a management impact can be done in a large company as well as in a startup that's what i would say 
uh, of course, in a startup, there are certain benefits in a management, in, in a large company or a consulting. There are some other benefits. And, and the reason I say that is because I've worked in like, 100 different sectors okay 100 is a uh, yeah not 100 but like 10 different sectors so, so uh, everything has a learning experience just like Sankalp you were saying whether it's your dad's business whether it is uh, what you got into uh, later on from the nuts and bolts into the sanitary napkins whether it is your MBA whether it's your engineering whether it is your Amazon, whether it is your uh, ICICI, everything comes together because there are some learnings from everything that you're getting. So based yes. on that, based on that, whether it's startup or whether it's big company, what is your vision for three years hence? So I uh, perfectly uh, believe with me that uh, everything has uh, learning. So uh, everything has made me learn something, something different from my childhood from my college experience i have done freelance experience uh, dad uh, from amazon everything has made me learn something uh, uh, new but currently what i am looking for next two to three years if i can go in uh, uh, some uh, consulting role where i can uh, work on different businesses where i can use my knowledge and also understand new businesses news analytical method uh, like something like that or some product manager role uh, I am looking at where I can, uh, like I have an independence of working on that project with full efficiency on. So like if I uh, get a small project also offer some app. So I can make it with full effort where I can in future show uh, say Ki I have worked on this map as a, pro a product manager and this is my creation. So uh, that what I am looking for currently Ki, uh, for next two to three years to work on some uh, projects or some uh, things where I can make an impact and I can say Ki, this is my work and in future I can grow or I can learn for my personal business if I want, I can grow in organizations. So not something, I, I am not afraid of big or small because if you see Microsoft also has given people role of product manager where they are uh, dealing with startups which Microsoft is funding. So that is a very good, well, any, uh, any startup I am also open to currently going for next year to four year till 30 till 35. So I am open. So quickly, to quickly, if I were to summarize what I, what you said in like in 10 seconds, it's like you want a startup role with a big corporate salary. Not big corporate salary. So my current uh, salary is not that big corporate. If you see, uh, and I but you want to... corporate responsibility with a, a, a sorry startup responsibility with corporate salary. Ha. So I currently have gotten a startup responsibility only with corporate salary. If you see me in ICIC, I am just working on the ground. I have to daily do two visits to clients and uh, different things. So I am doing that only. But uh, uh, something where I can use more of my business knowledge, where I can uh, use more of the energy Political knowledge where I can deal with products uh, somewhere where I can deal with IT or something uh, creative where I can use more of my mind because in banking banking is good banking is good but banking you have to use your mind less <laughs> you banking you have to go through the procedures just uh, while approaching the business or while doing the sales pitch or something you are more used to uh, doing the business part uh, that I'm... I think that is one part of banking, Sankalp. I, I think there are a lot of areas of banking where uh, what you're saying uh, also works. And I'm just saying this because I've never been in banking. But I have seen people around me, whether it's my ex-classmates or whether it's ex-colleagues or, or, or people, uh, there is a lot of scope in banking also. Yeah. Is that the... Idea? It's not just like banking is not the place to be in but maybe what you're saying is as i'm hearing that in the segment within banking you're not in a place where your business knowledge is being used as much as you think it could be used yeah that what i think but my i can uh, i have potential for more i can uh, uh, give more 
so uh, that's what i think because if when if you see icici also when their uh, hr ke, uh, their manager came for hiring uh, mm-hmm. their senior person uh, he saw my cv he talked to me and he was like you will be a good fit for our prod, prodman role uh, you have a good knowledge of products you have a good knowledge of uh, business so you will be a good fit for our product role but uh, here the system is little different they in starting give you random roles so that's the thing uh, that's why uh, but yeah i am uh, for next 3 year where i am look myself is making some uh, impact where i can say ki yeah i am working on this i am doing this or uh, where i can make a impact for the company for positive impact uh, give them uh, growth uh, good growth or uh, make them the more matlab make the impact in their business ki yeah uh, he has done something for the business very good sankal very good i think uh, talking to you makes me very hopeful about india literally i feel like the experience you have the thinking you have at the age of 26 i just don't see that in america i just don't see it towards you know or talking like that or having the kind of drive education motivation that you have so uh, i'm really glad i got to talk to you today if you want i'd be happy to uh, connect you with saurabh singh uh, google his episode on i am ki baat and you will uh, watch his episode and after watching his episode if you want to want us to connect to him let us know he's made enough money he's at the point where it's episode 4 he's at the point where he is like ki acha yaar i won the love Uh, I'm okay with my business being, you know, earning 30, 40 crores a year. And uh, we were asking him that, why didn't you grow it 10 times? He said, why don't you work with me? So I think having someone like you in this business would make great sense because he can bring young energy and he can say, look, you're making 16 at ICIC. I'll give you 18. You double my business, I'll double your salary, right? And it's a, it's a great deal for him. He takes it from 30, 40 crores in revenue to 80 crores in revenue. And you get to create the impact in the next three, four years, and you get to double your salary. You get to work in a uh, startup role with the corporate salary. Like you know, not everybody wants that. I think, I think that can be a good. Uh, uh, remember, Midlani, we were talking to Sarab that why doesn't he go in business into a multinational? He says, "Yeah, I'm, I'm totally fine. I have my dogs, I have my wife, I have my family. Why do I need to work more?" Right? I don't remember so, the dog, but yeah, I remember the wife and. And family, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I think uh, youngsters like you, uh, when they can connect to people of more experience at a different stage in life, I think uh, with your fire you can uh, do a lot. Okay, so very good talking to you, Sankal. And uh, yeah, and uh, keep in touch. And I, I, I do. And I, I have a feeling you do great. I think, I think your job should be or or your. Focus should be to connect with someone like Sora Mukher, saying or connect with uh, like uh, Vivo Mera, who is doing the SME, uh, and then says that look, bring me on as a CEO, Chief Operating Officer. Give me ten percent more than I say. And if I double your business, you double my salary. If I make your business four times, you make my salary four times. So if you can get to seventy, eighty lakh rupees in four five years, then that's great. Everybody wants in that, right? because like you, you were saying say? like you were saying you you want a corporate and a startup because that's what the mix up yeah. is yeah like, so you have to take the risk startup has a risk corporate is low risk you get a salary in um, corporate you don't get uh, always a salary in startup yeah. yes uh, currently to uh, i will be i love to connect uh, with him uh, because currently i am not much of afraid of if I, if he give me more of variable if 16 say less if he give and also more of variable ki how much you grow our business and we will bet on that so i am much uh, more open for that because i uh, after uh, studying from i am well one thing i want to do in next 2 to 3 year i want to create my personal brand also at that level ki i can in future say see that i have grown or this i have done and uh, that's why i want to join this company for uh, 30 lakh 40 lakh that level i want to grow in next 5 year ki uh, i have that knowledge and personal brand where i can say ki 
Yeah, now I want uh, money more. That's a, that's a really good attitude, Miglani. Don't you think? Because uh, he's literally saying that double my salary by double your business, right? Yeah. That's a great attitude to bring. Yeah. I think so. I think so. In fact, uh, I, I'll tell you, I've already said this before, Sankal. Like the all the different things that you're getting from all the different types of experiences that you've got, whether it's from your uh, senior years, senior school years or from your graduation, engineering, MBA. I think personally, I now realize and I didn't when I was 25 years old, but I'm like nearly double your age. Uh, yeah. I think I think all of that comes together. And the earlier it comes together, that is the most important thing that you realize that it's coming together and you realize that you know what, this is going to help me. So I love that. I really love that. I I think that realization at 25 or 26 is the best thing that I can see in the last one and a half, two hours that we have spoken. And it was great speaking to you. It was lovely. And um, yeah, my last thoughts on this is Thank you so much for coming on this episode. Uh, thank you so much for sharing your everything from your childhood to your graduation, to your career, to your, your education, everything between that. And thank you so much for uh, being a part of IMK Baad because a lot of our viewers uh, or some of our viewers actually want to get inspired by people like you. That how can we get into IAM? They want to get inspired by how how do we get the vision to plan our career after IAM and, and everything in between. So thank you so much, Sankal. Thank you so much. And also, we are at a role in life where we want to give back to our country, to our society, and make connections like between you and Saurabh Singh happen, or with you and Vibor Mera happen, or with you and Miglani as a venture capitalist has invested in multiple startups with one of those companies happened. Like, look, this is a candidate who is willing to say, double my salary if I double your business. Right? So uh, bringing that young energy to the middle-aged energy of ours, I think that connection point is very good. And I hope you realize, and you realize what, uh, what Vix is saying is that because that's a win-win situation for anyone. And I, uh, I'm i sure you've realized that in terms of your MBA education as well as your uh, grassroots business knowledge is if I increase someone's business, they are willing to pay me more. It's yeah. the same thing in corporates, except corporates have a lot of uh, paperwork, as you said. Yeah, I, There I mean, is a lot of paperwork, I can tell you, in business. When you have to do it all yourself, then you realize that how much paperwork is there in business when you have to file your own taxes versus working for a corporate where someone else's job is to file their taxes. Yeah, that's why I believe that there is a lot of paperwork. And thank you, sir, very much. Uh, can, it was nice connecting with you. And uh, I learned a lot from you guys talking, discussing things with you. Yeah, very good talking to you, Sankal. Okay. Talk to you soon again, okay? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.